Hello everyone, we are FYP Group 53. We are going to present our work on party extraction from legal contract using contextualized span representations of parties. Extracting legal entities from legal documents, particularly legal parties in contract documents, poses a significant challenge for legal assistive software. By automating the process of party extraction, legal professionals can save time and improve the accuracy of their work. There are multiple party extraction systems for legal contracts, however, these systems generate numerous false positives due to the complex structure of the legal text. Therefore, we proposed a novel approach and improved the performance of party extraction in two different ways. First, we created a large-scale party annotated dataset that includes 1,000 contract documents across 25 types. Then we developed a span-based extraction system using a question-answering approach with several architectural enhancements from Squad 2.0. The problem we are addressing is developing a highly accurate system for extracting and identifying the parties involved in a legal contract with a focus on achieving high exact match accuracy. These findings motivated us to do this research. Manual reviewing contracts leads to high costs. So, only large-scale corporations can afford it. Numerous false positives in existing systems output due to the complex structure of the legal text. Automation of such tasks saves time in human resources. Can create comparative studies using extracted parties and their corresponding documents. From this motivation, we designed our research to contribute to the following. Accurate extraction of parties. Because manual extraction of parties is prone to human errors. Quick document search, legal research, identifying parties involved in similar cases, trends, and patterns in a legal dispute. Relationship network analysis. The proposed solution for identifying parties mentioned in contract documents is presented as a question answering task. Our proposed solution consists of two parts. The first one is annotating a new data set with exact match annotations and then in the modeling part, we made architectural modifications to the transformer-based Roberta model to develop a question-answering model that can identify parties involved in legal contracts. The available dataset for party extraction is the Contract Understanding Atticus dataset, CUAD, which consists of 510 agreements of 25 different types obtained from the Electronic Data Gathering, Analysis, and Retrieval, EDGAR, system. However, CUAD has several limitations that limit its suitability for our task. One limitation is that the annotations in CUAD include irrelevant terms like we, you, and us. These terms are not parties to the contract and are thus not pertinent for extracting the exact match of the parties. Additionally, the annotations contain party abbreviations, e.g., PCQ and ABW, which may be used in the contract but can be challenging for automated systems to comprehend. To address these limitations, a newly annotated dataset is introduced, comprising 1,000 legal contract documents obtained from the EDGAR database. And now for the modeling part, we chose Roberta as the foundational model for this task due to its smaller size, fast tokenizer, and performance improvements compared to BERT. To improve the model's performance in capturing complex structures within legal contracts, several modifications have been made to the architecture. Firstly, the number of encoder layers has been increased to enhance the model's learning capability and enable it to capture intricate patterns and relationships within the input data. The additional layers allow the model to capture information at different levels of granularity, from local and syntactic to abstract and semantic concepts. Secondly, the activation function has been modified by replacing the JLU function with the new JLU function. This change has resulted in improvements in the model's performance, including its learning capacity, convergence speed, and generalization ability. Thirdly, layer normalization has been incorporated into the output layer of the model. This normalization technique normalizes the inputs within each layer, making the training process faster and improving the model's resilience to changes in input scale. It also enhances the model's generalization ability. Lastly, dropout has been introduced as a regularization technique to mitigate overfitting issues that may arise due to the increased number of encoder layers. Dropout randomly disables some neurons during training, preventing the model from relying too heavily on specific neurons and reducing overfitting. 
Our best model has shown promising results in capturing complex legal structures and achieving improved performance. Here, we present the results of experiments conducted to evaluate the performance of Roberta model including several variations of a baseline model, each with different modifications or additions, on the newly annotated dataset. As you can see, in terms of datasets, the re-annotated CUAD's dataset significantly improved the performance of the system compared to the state-of-the-art de Berta model. This implies that most of the errors identified from the existing dataset have been resolved by our re-annotation process. On the other hand, our newly annotated dataset achieved a higher score, 0.921, than the current state-of-the-art model, 0.887, and slightly less than that of experiment B, 0.929, indicating that this data contributed positively to the experiment's performance. This motivates us to combine both datasets from experiments B and C to define a new experiment D as our new baseline. The baseline experiment, D, achieved an EM of 0.934, which indicates the quality of the combined dataset compared to the existing dataset, CUAD. Even though our baseline model achieved a comparatively higher score, we found some mistakenly identified parties with non-formal forms and partial forms during our error analysis. By further studies, we concluded that this is due to the inability of the models to learn the complex structure of the legal text. Therefore, we explored additional experiments to increase the learning capability of our model to learn legal text's complex structure. Finally, we found that passing the output features from the 12th encoder layer of the original Roberta through additional layers will increase the further learning of the model on the training dataset. This will help to learn the complex structure of the input space and the association between the different sub-tokens of a party. For example, from the above analysis and studies, we conducted several experiments by varying the number of encoder layers, L, from 8 to 32. Finally, we found out that the best model came from an experiment I when the number of encoder layers is 24. Now, let's examine the demonstration. Here is the web application we've developed to showcase our project. Currently, you're viewing the landing page. Let's navigate to the main page, where you'll find a form to enter the dataset name and description. You can then upload the dataset using the third input field and click the Ingest button to proceed. Once completed, you will be able to see all the documents within the uploaded zip file. To initiate the process, let's click the Extract button. This will transmit the documents to the server for analysis and retrieve the predictions. Please note that this step may require some time to complete. Now, you can observe the system's outputs. For each document, we have extracted the top five parties associated with it. You can utilize the search bar to look for specific parties, and we also offer the option to group them based on party names. We have additional functionalities planned for future implementation, as mentioned in our roadmap. Thank you for your attention during our presentation.